Welcome folks to another tutorial from helpfid.net Today we're going to be working in Dreamweaver and we're going to be creating a drop down multiple tabbed navigation bar. So we have our main page here with our logo, space for the navigation bar and our body area. So we're going to come into this navigation bar here and I've just gave it this colour so I can easily see it. So I'm going to click inside the navigation bar to make sure I'm inside there. I'm going to come to split view and make sure my cursor is indeed flashing inside that navigation bar. So when I'm happy with that, I'm going to come up to insert, I'm going to come down to spray and this is all your spray options where you can have a collapsible panel, an accordion panel, however we want to use a menu bar. So we're just going to click menu bar and it gives us the option of a horizontal or vertical bar. So for the time being, we're just going to choose a horizontal bar as our navigation <coughs> div here is horizontal. <coughs> so I'm going to click OK. And it automatically, by default, puts in four buttons. Now, also, <coughs> you can reach the, the spray menu bar by coming up here and just clicking on this spray tab here and it'll open up all of these options. This one here is to enter the spray menu bar. <clears throat> Just another route you can take. So, we have our four buttons. Uh, we can see that it's just overlapping our div, that doesn't really matter, we can change that later on. For the time being, we just want to <clears throat> insert the correct amount of buttons we are looking for. So. I'm going to come to design view and as you can see it says item 1, item 2, item 3 and item 4. So <coughs> to select the properties for this you need to hover over the blue tab that says spray menu bar, this tab here. So when you hover over this you just click it and this opens up these properties down the bottom in your properties panel. And as you can see, there are your four buttons. Now these are your top level buttons. So item one, as you can see, has a small arrow. <clears throat> now that is saying item one has got one, two, three items inside it. However, item two has got no items inside it because as you can see, there's no arrow. So if you wanted to add an arrow there and add some sub-menus, you just click this small arrow. And as you can see, it adds in the buttons accordingly. Uh, so <clears throat> we want to have another two buttons to fill out this bar. So we're just going to come into the main level here and we'll just click and click. And that gives us our buttons. So I'm going to click on item 1. I'm going to come acro across to where it says text. I'm just going to type in home. I'm going to come down to the next one. I'll just give this the name of events. And you just work your way across till you've named all of your top level buttons, the names you wish them to be. News. Parts. Info and <coughs> last contact. So contact would really just be the button itself. There wouldn't be any sub buttons inside this contact. There wouldn't be a drop down because <coughs> it's just a button to launch your contact page. However, say for talking sake, you had offices in four different locations, four different countries, then you could add in a drop down menu here and give them the option to contact the office in London or the office in New York or the office in and so on and so on. <coughs> so you can make that button have sub menus also. So next, <coughs> obviously home is going to be a static button, you're not really going to have an arrow there. So again, we'll come in here and we'll scroll up to we find home and we're just going to come in here and delete the sub buttons from home right 
so we'll come to events and we'll add a button in here so we can add in <clears throat> an idea for a bike event we'll just type in London as in London events type in think moto gps a bike race you could type in the next one i think the tt is a bike race as well so you're just giving options uh, naming your buttons there giving them ideas so that's the basics so let's drag this over and look see what's happened in our css palette here we have been given a We'll just close this off and close this off. We'll be given a spray options here. So this is automatically entered. When you put the bar in, this goes in automatically. So if we just preview this in the browser just now, we'll have a look at what it looks like as its default state. You can see it's blue, doesn't really look professional. However, you can change the colour, you can change the roll of our colours, you can change the font and everything basically in this options here so this is the controls that control this bar to change certain parts of it so I'm going to come over here we'll just open this up a little bit now, really really you should read these to see exactly where you're at so this is the menu bar for hover so I'm going to come in here and the background as you can see is blue so I want to change this to a kind of greyish colour uh, what else do we want to do in here? We'll come into <clears throat> we can come into border and we can give it a right solid border and a left solid border on rollover of one pixel. We can make this be uh, black so it's noticeable. Apply. <clears throat> okay. We can come into the list here and we can come into block and as you can see the text is aligned left we can center the text hit apply as you can see the text centers inside the button ne makes it a little bit neater neater sorry you can also make the text smaller and i mean there's so much you can do this is all just your options in here to change your different colors and stuff and the size of font you can alter the actual size of each button so preview this with those changes applied and as you can see now it's kind of changed to a kind of light grey colour on rollover but as you can also see we have a small border happening as you have been rolling down as you scroll down here you see a border appear that black line so you can't really see the text on rollover just now is white so that isn't really a good thing you'd be looking to change that because when you roll over it you can hardly see the text so I'll come back out we'll come into our hover as you can see the text there is white so say you were just to change it we'll just change it to blue so it's recognizable for you guys just now preview so as you can see it changes to blue so that's just the basics guys uh, I've been working in one over here and I've spent a little bit more time in this so I'll just show you the effects of this one so this is the effects of this one as you can see it's nice and subtle changes as I scroll down here you can see the small black border on the left and right hand side I've lowered the font size so it isn't looking so big chunky um, you can see we have all these options here so it's just up to yourselves guys to play about with it until you find a uh, find one you're happy with but yeah that's how you create that actual bar itself and this is the controls in here in your CSS palette your spray menu horizontal and this is how you can change all the colors and stuff so thanks for watching guys until the next tutorial please stay safe